Oh, this should do. How do you feel? Oh, can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. But I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? Plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? That old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Yeah, it should be dry enough. I told you. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well, building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters. Something that stands for eternity. Or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time? Or would you keep on looking? I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? Should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining.
Uh, it's just more woods down that way. Nah, no getting through there. Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. Need something harder, like my pot. Houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. Oh. Oh, I'd be glad. Harder, Tom, harder. I should be glad. Um, did you think about what I asked you? I might never build a cathedral. Is that so bad? Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> now, we mustn't forget the doors. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. But isn't it still dark in there? It is. That's why we need some windows. So the people inside can see what they're doing. By now we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work, that's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. 
Well, it means not only will it keep them dry, Give them hope. Mm. This? Mama? <laughs> the baby is coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken yet? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I'm so tired. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. I do to help. Cover me. Will, will she die? She'll die, right? <laughs> Mama. Children? Calm down, you two. There's nothing to be afraid of. Let us help. Alfred. Go and collect more wood. Let's have a bigger fire. More wood? I can do it. Let me. Let Martha do it. I'll be quick. It, it'll take forever before she's back. Get more water. Take snow if you must to make it warm. Right. What else can I do? Remember when Martha was born, and the Lady Isabella acted as midwife? You were building a chapel, and you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. And she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolfhound pups. And she took us to our own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. Oh, your hands are cold. I could warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. Fire better now. Can you feel the warmth? Yes. It's not long now. Be ready. Alfred. Take care of your little sister. I I'm fine. Take care of Mama instead. Let me do something. I'm here with you. I know. 
It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. Build a beautiful cathedral. For me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes! Agnes, wake up! The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. 
King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep, and that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. I hope now it will be easier for you to fulfill your duties. Oh, I'm sure it will. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? That's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the Priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. Devil has come to Kingsbridge.
is this locked? Hello? Hmm. I'm sure there was someone moving behind a window. Most houses are empty. They lock it. Maybe the side entrance is open. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked, and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black with sad block. The moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well, but the Lord says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? For many years, James has been our prior. After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen.
Philip. We told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. A priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother, a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the forest, Philip? Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the Forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. Well, our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese in St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was... disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Remigius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. What do you think it means? I don't know. There is no reason to punish us for asking. You look like you want to ask me something. You are Philip of Gwyneth? Yes. Uh, but you can call me Brother Philip. You see? Told you he wouldn't mind. Yes. Now ask him. How about you ask him? I already asked Brother Andrew. That doesn't count. He wouldn't answer. If you promise to lower your voices from now on. Oh, of course. We promise. Brother Milius told us you know the scripture very well. Could you tell us about God's temple? Brother Andrew wouldn't tell us. It must be a place. A cathedral. That's probably what the guest master was talking about. Andrew wouldn't tell you. Why? He got very angry with us. We had to say the Lord's Prayer 150 times. Each of us is God's temple, for he created us. The guest master said Prior James destroyed God's temple. And that you'll go to hell. For a self-murderer there is no salvation. What if the devil takes our souls too? Commit yourselves to God. Be humble and pious. Be without sin. God's grace will not allow the devil to lay hand on any of you. Prior James will face judgment, 
It is between him and God. Do not be afraid. No, Brother Philip. Thank you, Brother Philip. So, uh, again, we're all God's temple. All of us. Because... Because God created us in His image. That's why we can all pray to Him. We don't need to go to church for that. No, we are the temple. But what we have to ask ourselves is... Can our Saint Adolphus still protect Kingsbridge in these dark times? He couldn't protect Prior James. Ever since that lightning struck the cathedral, he wasn't the same. When you take over my position as sacrist, you should implore the bishop to send us a new relic. By then, I'll be sub-prior. The new prior and I will support you in this. Maybe we shouldn't discuss these things before outsiders. Philip of Gwyneth. I wanted to talk to you. How dare you disturb Brother Remedius Requiem? I'm, I'm afraid the choir is waiting for me. Stay, brother. There's no reason you shouldn't hear what Philip has to say for himself. I was shocked by the prior's death. We all were. Now, I'm sure at St. John's you're a good prior, but here we adhere to the rules. You mentioned a new prior. The election will be held in a few days, when we all convene for the chapter meeting. Let us continue this conversation later. Of course. Uh, there's a lot of planning for me to do for the upcoming election. Why cathedrals? Why do we create temples if we are the temple? Isn't it almost arrogant to try and build a greater temple? Contemplate this later. Not now. Brother Ronaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves.
my father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. I asked not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius, I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this, hmm? Don't you have your own Priory cell to run? Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly. About the keys that were stolen by Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. You really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. We may never know what happened, and that's that. Now let me get back to my work. This priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. Philip! Brother Milius. Come! Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert.
Millers? Why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know.